Hey guys, okay, so we've moved from the bathroom, um, master bath, to the guest bath, now to the kitchen. So I've shown you some of my favorite products for tackling some major jobs in those areas, and now I wanna show you something for the kitchen. So this is the netted dishcloth, and I know it looks super weird. It's like a fishing net, you know, it's got all these little holes, but it will become one of your most favorite items in the kitchen from Norwex. Um, you will not need a sponge anymore or a cloth to clean your dishes. This is gonna grab all the stuff that sticks around a frying pan or in a, um, the insert to your crock pot, um, all that gummy, sticky stuff, you wipe your stove and there's grease on it after cooking. You use this and it's gonna rinse right out. And that is what's so brilliant about this. It grabs everything, but then it releases. So if you wipe up something sticky and messy with a sponge or a dishcloth, it's pretty much out for the count. You either end up tossing it after a little bit or it goes right in the wash. So I'm gonna show you, first off, peanut butter in a measuring cup. If you had peanut butter, maple syrup, oil, all that good stuff, um, sticky stuff, let me show you what you do. So you're just gonna take it and swirl it around. It grabs everything in there. Get a clean surface. And there you go. So this is not clean. You still have to wash this, but it's taken all of that sticky peanut butter out. And if you can see, it's all in here. That would be pretty nasty on a sponge. Now you just go under the water, rub it against itself, and this is all gonna wash down the drain. What's also so nice about this is once this rinses out, this cloth does not feel sticky, slimy, greasy. It has totally removed it from all those little holes that it used to grab it and pick it up. So as you can see, we have a clean cloth. Now, what I'm gonna show you from here is, sometimes when you are baking, you might, this has never happened to me, but you can crack an egg, and or an egg rolls off the counter and falls on the floor. Um, you know, what do you do to pick that up off the surface? Well, you could use a wad of paper towel, and you would have to use a wad of paper towel to get it. Um, you could use your dishcloth, sponge, it would really be nasty, it still would not grab it all. I'm gonna take this netted dishcloth, and this is a whole raw egg, and I'm going to pick it up. And you just wipe around. And now this surface is still wet, but the egg is in here, it's not dripping. And as you can see, I have egg in this cloth. Okay, so we still have a wet surface, but I am able to remove this off the floor, wherever it is, if you're not close to this, to a sink, it's magic to be able to do that. <laughs> Again, just rub it against itself, and you can see it just releases. And once again, this cloth doesn't feel slimy. Nothing is stuck on it. And that should have removed all the egg from that surface. Once again, clean cloth. Uh, this does not have the silver in it that our other cloths do. So after a few times of washing your dishes or cleaning up whatever you're cleaning up when you're ready to wash this cloth you're just going to open your dishwasher lay this over the top rack of dishes wash your dishes and the cloth at the same time comes out beautifully now when you are baking you know cookies over the holidays or pizza dough pasta and you have flour on the surface that alone is hard to clean up but it's even harder when you put it on a wet surface where it gets wet and sticks so I'm going to show you here how this is going to grab this off the surface, lock it in the cloth here, and I have one big sticky, nasty mess again. If this was on a sponge, this sponge would either be going in the dishwasher or the trash because this is not all coming off. And I'll just rub it against itself, and you can see it is just running off. You are gonna find use upon use upon use for this cloth. But we just keep it here at the sink. When you're ready to wash your whole load of dishes, you can fill the sink with soapy water, use this, and it's gonna grab everything off your dishes. If you just wanna wash a couple dishes, wet this, put a little um, liquid dishwash uh, detergent on, and it's gonna act like your scruff puff in the shower. And you can wash pans, few things, inside the glass, whatever you like. Um, now this surface is not, oh and when you're done, if this does not need to go in the dishwasher, you just wring it out, you can lay it over your dish rack of dishes or you can lay it, hang it on your, um, oh, 
a little flower on there, hang it on the surface or the uh, spout to dry. Now this surface is not clean, so this is where you're still going to need to clean your surface. This is going to pick everything up off the surface. So you take your kitchen, kitchen towel, this has the silver in it, so this is going to pick up 99% of whatever is on your surface. So this is picking up the raw egg, this is picking up any crumbs, the flour, anything that's left. And then when I rinse it out under the water, wring it out and hang it to dry, the silver that is embedded in this our backlock technology is going to go to work and self-purify this kitchen cloth. Okay, and then last thing I want to show you is our cleaning paste. And I'm showing you this in the kitchen because this is the miracle paste. You can use this in every room of your house. In the garage, in the kitchen, in the laundry room, in the bathroom on soap scum. It is the extra muscle you need when your EnviroCloth alone will not do the job. This has three ingredients. It has marble flour, coconut oil, and natural soap. It is a hard uh, substance, but it is, it's a super fine powder is what it is. It will last you forever. So you wet your Enviro cloth. This is your everything cloth. Go to this cloth before anything else when you're trying to clean something, and majority of the time this alone will work. But if it does not, like I will show you, Sharpie. Sharpie on your hardwood floors, Sharpie on your table, the kids are doing posters. This does not come out. This does not come out with just an Enviro cloth. So if you rub this wet in your paste, get a little bit of paste on here, this just gives you the extra muscle you need. So I'm going to take that eye off, and now you have Love Norwex. And there is no paste uh, left behind. It's not gritty. It's totally smooth, and it just keeps working. So always start with your EnviroCloth and window cloth duo for majority of the surfaces in your house but when you need that extra muscle the cleaning paste is um, magic in a, in a tub so those are some of my favorite things for the kitchen you cannot be without the netted dishcloth um, the kitchen cloth is so nice to have it comes in beautiful colors along with the kitchen towel so it works like your EnviroCloth for the kitchen um, this would remove 99% of what's on your surface, it's nice to have uh, a smaller kitchen cloth to do that after every meal. So I hope I've answered some of the questions that you might have about Norwex and what to use in the kitchen, and if you have any other questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thanks.